green country custom baits i'm jeff uh today we are going to shoot a video that's uh, i've had a lot of questions asked about my real scale version and how i set up these hoop nets where i get these hoop nets the type of netting that i use in those and as you can see i've got several here that need replaced so i thought we'd short, shoot a short video on how we set up our hoop nets in order to get the 3d scale effect that we call the real scale version so stick around Okay, so first thing I've removed, as you can see, I removed my old material uh, from the hoop net. And uh, what we have here is just a loofah, um, bath scrubber, whatever, that I've taken apart, an old one. that, And all you need to do is just kind of split that at some point. Uh, again, I just cut off a kind of a section of this. And we're going to cut that in half so that we've got two parts here that we can use you can see this stuff has a lot of stretch in it uh, especially in the this direction I mean you know a lot of stretch as you'll notice when you go with the scales I'm hoping you can see that uh, it's not nearly as much stretch in it okay and so we can change the shape of those in order to more round or if we go this direction more of a diamond shape which is kind of what i prefer uh, but as you put this in this netting you can make those scales larger by stretching it this way and getting it in and then moving, and I'll show you how I do this once I get it in there, move it in this direction, because we can make them real fine, we can make them larger, so forth, so on. So, first thing I'm going to do, because we got a lot of stretch this direction, I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough. Again, we've taken these hoop nets apart. I get these at Walmart, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, just make sure that we've got enough, leave some excess, you can always trim off. What you don't need i'm trying to keep this all in camera here for you um, and so this is hard to do inside this paint booth i'll tell you that all right so there we've got a piece. I'll cut a couple more because I've got several I'm going to do here and I'll show you how I assemble them. Okay, so one side of these hoop nets, and I think these came from Walmart here, um, there's a little lip. Well, the piece that has the uh, thumb screw on it, again, is, is adjustable. Um, We'll slide down inside there, and then we tighten it down. That's basically how these nets work if you haven't used them before. So we want our scale netting to fit this direction. We position it how we want it. Okay. We, uh, we see that we have plenty of room here. So we can always chop that off as as we need but i want to make sure i've got a little over, even overhang from the top to bottom because this is the direction that it doesn't stretch as much then we just position this over the top of it 
like so, making sure again, I cut this one a little close to the top and the bottom, but okay, but it's it's we want it uh, much tighter than that. I do like the the shape of the uh, the scales if you can see that. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to pull that up before we tighten that thumb screw and get the shape of the scales that we prefer. And if you want them a little longer, a little wider, we can pull some out of this direction, out of this direction. Just keep working around until we get that a little bit tighter. And as you get closer, you want to tighten that thumb screw up just a little bit more each time. Make sure you're working all the way around the bait, or the bait, working all the way around the circumference of this hoop. Extremely difficult to see, but I like the shape of those. We got a, it's a lot, uh, the netting's a lot firmer at the bottom because what we're going to do is place our lures inside here and you want a little bit of flex but not a lot okay so that's the basics on what the material is that we use one loofla will make tons of these and i just go back take my scissors and cut some of that excess off because when we're spraying at an angle, we don't want this stuff hanging off and in our way. And if I had a different colored loofla, I think it'd make a big difference. And I do think I got some blue, so maybe I'll make one here on camera that's blue so you can see that a little bit better. But that's the basics on how we put it in our hoops. Uh, the direction of the scales, again, I'll see if I can find a different color and we'll shoot one more. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I like a pretty good diamond shape to mine. I'm happy with that. Those are the size I most generally use, and if you just pull it a little bit to the angle, it'll open them up a little bit more then tighten it down. So I hope you can see that a little better with the blue. Again, last step is just to trim it all off. And the more you spray through these, the more paint builds up, builds up on it and will give you a lot more definition. It'll take a little while for me to get these two or three paints to really making those scales stand out on each side of it. So. As you're painting, I'll show you a little bit today. This is not really a painting tutorial video, more of a uh, how-to uh, set the uh, hoop net up due to the fact that I've had several comments about it and uh, just wanted to give you an idea how that works. But I may show you a little bit. I've got a couple of real skill patterns to paint today and uh, uh, kind of show you how we... Uh, what it looks like after the first time you put a new net in there and what kind of lines you think you're going to get. So we'll come back and we'll show you a little bit of that. Okay, so I've got a couple different um, gizzard shed patterns here that I've uh, already sprayed. And uh, let's see, this one is some old netting. This one is some of the brand new. I'll just show you a little bit about the difference. It's not a lot, but... Uh, show you a little bit of that and that will conclude this video on how to new netting you can kind of see the line let's take a look at the older netting and this one ain't super old it's not Bear with me, it's hard to get all this stuff done on camera here. Getting these magnets off or certain positions on my table that I can effectively do it and it's probably out of camera right now, but we'll be right back.
Let's see, here we go. So you can see the older netting. It's a little thicker, and this is what you're trying to get. You're trying to get the uh, clear body of the bait to leave the outline of those scales. So that's what we're looking for. That creates some separation. And your angle spray by leaving the white edge at the back provides the 3D looking scale. Anyway, if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up and uh, like, comment, share. Uh, we appreciate it. It's been a long time since we've uh, created a video. The real job has definitely uh, <clears throat> been uh, in full force. So with that being said, we're going to try to keep kicking out a few videos. I've got one more series on a natural bluegill in the real scale version that I haven't done that uh, should be coming up here in a week or so. So see you next week.